Well, I went to see Godzilla X Kong or Godzilla Kong, whatever you want to call it. Should be Kong X Godzilla. Um, did I enjoy it? That's the first question we should ask. The answer is yes, I did enjoy it. Me and me, I took my two boys with me. We went. They loved it. I enjoyed it. Do I think it was as good as Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Kong? No. But you can see what the, I think they're going into a kid friendly area. I think that's what they're aiming for. Um, people will not agree with me when I say this, but of all the legendary Godzilla movies, I'm sorry, but I, I loved the first one. I loved Godzilla the first one. People moan that you hardly got to see Godzilla in it, but I think that's the point of Godzilla movies. You're not meant to, really. Um, but I enjoy them all. Never, it doesn't matter. I still enjoyed them. But this one, I enjoyed the film for a different reason. Not because it was Godzilla versus Kong. I knew what I was going for. I knew I was going for two hours of nonsense, basically. Um, and I enjoyed it for that. I enjoyed the, the visuals were fantastic. The fights were great. Um, the story was meh, but that's what everybody says. The story's meh, but I'm not going there for a story, so I, I, I didn't care about the story. Uh, all I wanted to see was Kong and Godzilla go at it, um, and they did, and it lived up to that. That's what they did. I just think that it's gone a bit too kid-friendly. I think it's going for the kids. Um I think we're gonna have to the adults are gonna have to move over to the basically the Japanese universe and your minus ones and such forth to get some good God, Godzilla action because I think Godzilla wasn't used very well in this movie, let's just say that. Um but it was definitely more of a Kong movie. Um but the humans in it were I love the young deaf girl I think she's got a good career ahead of her um, she's very good um, the rest of them they're all throw away it's just throwaways in it but they were some of them were funny um, in little spits and spats I loved the I loved some of the how to put it some of the beauty of what the what they'd envisioned coming to life because you can see that they they wanted to show you something and in the hollow earth kind of thing and it was it was absolutely stunning um so yeah i really enjoyed it um i'm not a big reviewer of movies so you're not going to get like loads of details from me because that's not what i do i make youtube videos because i'm bored not because i want some career in making reviews i do it if anybody watches it, that's great. If they don't, eh, you know, I'm just here to say what I think of something. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it and would have gone and watch it again. No, I'll wait for it to come out on uh, the old Blu-ray and I'll probably watch it six or seven times then because I've got it at home because uh, I own them all on Blu-ray um, and I've watched them numerous times. Once I watch the first one, I have to watch the second one. Do you know what I watched the other night? I watched... Um, and I wish they would reboot it with Pacific Rim. They need to re reboot that so badly because it, that's by Legendary as well. And how Legendary can have Pacific Rim and then they can have this, Godzilla Kong, and not find a way to make that work together, I don't know. Because Pacific Rim is an amazing film and the sound of Pacific Rim, some of the sound is just fantastic. Same with Godzilla uh, Kong Godzilla movies. Some of the sound is just epic. Um, I don't think it's on the sound is on the scale of June, but it's very very good. Um, but Pacific Rim, the sound is just amazing. And then when number two, Uprising. Oh God, I don't know who directed that. I don't know who, who gave them the green light for that. But they just ruined a whole franchise in one movie, and it was just disgraceful. They need to reboot it and bring them massive robots. With the adult themed, like the Pacific, I say adult themed, do you know what I mean? But I, I, the version that they started with, and get that with Kong and Godzilla. You really do need to reboot that because I watched it again yesterday, uh, Pacific Rim, and it is just a fantastic film. And yes, I did watch the second one straight after because I have to. 
if I watch the first of something, I I, I continue. I, I do them all in one row. I just think, oh no, I may as well watch them all, and I continuously do that. And I was just I was just I was fast forwarding through parts of it just to get me through it because it's just horrendous that movie. But I do like the big, you know, the big kaiju's and the big fighting robots, and it's just fun in it. You're an adult, grow up, they say. Yeah, but no, I'm 45, but I like fighting robots and I like fighting. We live in the best of times, but the worst of times. As some Charles Dickens novel once said. I think that was that. Is that Oliver or is it? Might be Muppet's Christmas Carol, I've got that from. Whatever, who cares? But anyway, that's my review for that film. Go watch it. It is fun and it's well worth it. Um, and also, just on a note, I got my tickets cheap um, because I went on the Tuesday and I didn't know this, but with your Prime membership uh, with Amazon, uh, you can get two tickets for like 15 quid, which is a bargain. Uh, I didn't even know that till the day I was going and I was looking around uh, movies, movie uh, places around my area because um, we've got we got a few and I could get tickets, two tickets, 15 quid. So only two of it cost two of us for 15 quid for two of us. And then I paid the extra eight quid for me young Um So yeah, well worth it. So go enjoy, go watch and uh, see you in the next one.